Aya, Kinwala Nisi Wayne's Wiani, Nila Miamia. My name is Daryl Baldwin. I'm a citizen of the Miami tribe of Oklahoma. I am a linguist and cultural preservationist. Our purpose for revitalizing the Miamia language is so that the current generation will have a stronger connection to their heritage. There's also a tremendous amount of cultural information associated with our language that we as a living people, the descendants of Miamia people, uh, want to preserve. How do you revive a language when there's no speakers? I think there has to be a tremendous amount of ambition, curiosity, drive, and willingness to simply try. The reason I decided to pursue the Miamia language was that in my childhood, I knew that I was a Miami Indian. I didn't know much about that other than uh, genealogical information, historical information, and so I developed a curiosity for the language and I began to look to see if there were any speakers left. What I found is that the speakers had passed about the time I was born in the early 1960s. And then uh, I stumbled across some sheets of paper that my grandfather had that had language on it. So he too must have been interested in the language even though I knew he, did, he was not a speaker of the language. The mission of the Miamia Center is really to serve as the research arm for the Miami Tribe of Oklahoma's efforts in language and cultural revitalization. One of the things we've found we've had to do is uh, develop our own technologies for working with the kinds of materials that we work with. So for instance, you know, how do you work with historical language documents in such a way that allow us to extract the information from that, store it, make it retrievable or searchable. So we've had to come up with specific softwares and create softwares for that kind of work. Language and culture are inseparable in the sense that if you're going to speak a language, um, there has to be a, both a cultural and a community context for that language. The Miami Tribe of Oklahoma has uh, a midwinter stomp dance that's at the end of January. Uh, in June, we have National Gathering Week. And then aside from those, uh, we have youth programs like the Awan Zapata program and the Sakachaweta summer daycare program. So we've had youth grow up through a lot of these programs and through Miami University we also have a growing base of tribal students that come here to Miami and many of those students will serve as counselors in our youth programs during the summer so there's this constant cross fertilization of, of tribal experiences at the youth level. Cheki Iweko Osandeke for the Miami tribe students that choose to come to Miami University under the Miami Indian Heritage Program, uh, they are required to take a series of courses, and language is woven really into all of that. This is very much a healing process, and also a very important part of reconnecting to our identity as Miami people.